describe you? Uh, you're an elastomer. Yes, uh, um, oh, you're highly viscous, but yet you can phase shift. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. You're moldable. <laughs> A little ticklish. <laughs> oh, you're foldable. You're gullible. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. And oh, you're ductile. <laughs> you're elastic. Let's just see how elastic you are. Okay. In hit movie Flubber, Dr. Brainard works to complete a revolutionary energy source by using propulsive polymers. Propulsion is defined as a driving or propelling force, thus causing the high levels of thrust and momentum in Flubber, a term that is simply a mashup of the two words flying and rubber. In the movie, he then uses electricity and a strand of his own hair as a catalyst to bring the polymer to life. This, of course, is not scientifically possible as intelligent life cannot be produced within the ingredients used to make propulsive polymers, borax, water, and glue. However, certain polymers can conduct electricity, but that's an experiment within itself. And the following slightly more subtle endeavor will make a flubber of our own. The directions for making flubber begins with one container mix of one and a half cups of warm water, white glue, and a few drops of food coloring. In a second container, mix one and one third cups of warm water and borax. Then mix the borax mixture, mixture into the glue mixture until it combines. Then place flubber on a tray and let it stand for a few minutes. So for our demonstration views, we have the ingredients in the first bowl on the way left, which is warm water, white glue, and food coloring. And then the second video is the second bowl, and that is the warm water and the borax. So individually those are being mixed, but then in the third and fourth video they're combined, and that's when you create, that's when the flubber substance is created. The polymers are being combined, and it's creating a rubbery, gooey type texture. And then in the fifth video, you can see um, after a few seconds that the ball is dropped, the ball of flubber is dropped, and it bounces a little bit like how it does in the movie. Let's talk about what is a polymer. A polymer is a substance that has a molecular structure consisting chiefly of entirely of a large number of similar units bonded together. It's commonly used in today's market of plastics, but can be tailored for any unique purpose. Just like flubber, it can be molded into anything you see fit, but will retain its natural gooey state without something to harden and reinforce it. Flubber is a chemical change where each of our ingredients formed a completely new substance. The glue, when added with water and borax, becomes soft, pliable, and bonds to itself rather than things it comes in contact with. It forms a slime-like substance that can be pulled, squished, stretched, and put back together if taken apart. It's also a compound that can be split back into its, its original ingredients. We see examples of polymers in our lives in various forms. An obvious polymer would be shoes. The leather in shoes is a natural polymer that can be dried to retain its shape. Another, another polymer that was used in everyday life is polyvinyl chloride, which was used to make vinyl records. 